Shut up and sit down. All right, good morning, people. How are you all diddling? I'm doing well as usual, thank you. Bit of a busy day today, but it's not busy really. Fill up, fill up with petrol, uh, and then go to the flask. Meeting you know, all the usual crowd up there, because it's Ali's last day at the flask today. She's moving to Wales or somewhere like that. So we won't be using flask as a meeting place anymore, because the, the hotel that owns it, um, they're taking over the running of it. Because Ali did such a good job, they want a piece of the pie. So yeah, it's sort of like Ali's farewell type thing. And then this afternoon I've got to go back to the gym. Which I'll talk about in a minute. No, fuck it, I'll talk about it now. Uh, yeah, I went to the gym for the first time on Friday. Uh, yeah, what Friday? Yeah, my last video was Thursday, going round and looking at Compass, uh, Compass Gym. Said I was going to join one. I did. I went Friday morning. Way overdid it. Totally overdid it. Uh, a little bit sore yesterday. Really sore today. Uh, because of my slight mobility issues, I thought I'd work on uh, hip movement and muscles, or pelvic area, what have you, upper thighs, groin, work, work saw all them out. It felt great while I'm doing it, and then all, yeah, all Friday afternoon I felt really loose and flexible and thought, wow, this is good. Yesterday's twin is a little bit today. My god, they hurt. Right, I'm a groin. But, if I want to get fit, if I want to get fit, then I need to do all these things and I need to persevere with it and get my sense sorted. Alright, number one please. Cheers, thank you. Yeah, so if I want to get fit, I need to carry on with it. <coughs> Ow! Oh. Sound like a right wuss. I feel like one. But it does hurt. So yeah, that's uh, the agenda for today. Oh yeah, I, I won't finish, didn't finish saying that. Uh, yeah, so I went to the gym. It hurt. It hurts more now. Um, yeah, and then this afternoon I've got an appointment back at gym uh, with a personal trainer to set up my programme for me. So basically all he's going to do is see what I'm capable of and set up my programme. Um, yeah, see, normally that won't be an issue because it's so much pain I know it's going to work like hell. I might just refrain from uh, doing ex any exercises on my uh, groinal area. I've got a squats app. Um, and I couldn't even do my squats last night. I managed like five. But it hurt too much. Anyway, stop whining, you pussy. Uh, watch a YouTube video last night, um, which I do a lot of time. Um, this one from The Crumble. Hey up, Mr. Crumble. How are you doing? Glad you're back. Keep it up. We miss you when you're not here. Titled Is Motor Vlogging Dead? Or rather, The Art of Motor Vlogging. Now, I do agree with hell of a lot of it, with what you say, in fact, pretty much all of it, uh, Mr. Crumble. Uh, yeah, it, well, what can I say? There's very few motor vloggers about now that talk about themselves, the, the life, um, day to day stuff, you know, random topics. Everybody seems to be going into the uh, review side of, of motor vlogging, i.e. reviewing bikes, kit, equipment, gear, and fair, t fair to them, you know, that's the way they want to go, that's the way they want to go. You know, the whole demonetising YouTube and stuff, that doesn't affect me in the slightest, because I've got jack shit subscribers, uh, and not a lot of views, but I have covered this topic before, I don't give a damn, because I do it for me. If there's only one person out there that listens to my motor vlogs, then I'm happy. You know, I've got no no ulterior motive, nothing. You know, I do it 
100% for me. Maybe that's selfish, um, but that's it, you know. Like I've said in the past, for me it's therapy. It gets me to vent. I just jabber on about random crap while I'm going places. And I like it that way. Yes, if I'm honest, secretly, you know, I'd like to have, you know, 1 billion subscribers and 20 billion views. Daily. <laughs> um, yeah, never happen, obviously. Um, but I'd still just do what I do. I won't change it. Yeah, I do my motor vlogs. I post random, random crap. Make little videos, slideshows, just stuff. Stuff that I feel like doing at the time. That's me. So yeah, Crumble, I, t I totally agree with you. There's very, very few people who just talk shite. That's not a, that's not an insult. Yeah, talking shite is good. I enjoy talking shite. I live in a world of shite and I like to express myself in shite. So there you have it. Yes, traditional motor vloggers are a dying breed. As in the sense of amount of shite talked. I suppose all, all others, um, you know, ha hats off to them. That's what, that's what they want to do. And I do watch the videos. I do enjoy, enjoy some of these uh, reviews. I only watch the ones that interest me like, obviously. Duh, that just doesn't make sense. Why would I watch ones that don't interest me? Um, yeah, so I suppose it's a sort of commercialisation of their channels. Um, getting sponsors, uh, getting things to review, sometimes free. And I, you know, I'd like to think, all the ones that I watch, um, they are impartial to the products that, that they review. Or appear to be. They say th they say the right things to to appear to be impartial, uh, and I hope they all stay that way. Obviously, there's a certain element of bowing to those that be. Uh, you know, if they're actually sponsoring you, sponsoring you financially. Um, yeah, I, I suppose then they, if they're getting connected with a, a high-profile name, then they're going to have to, you know, not swear and not show restricted content. Uh, talk re restricted content you know they, they won't be able to talk about political events or views religion anything like that anything controversial it's a no no because you know the sponsors will pull so in that respect it's got to be difficult for them because let's face it I swear on all my video uh, all, all my, I swear on all my vlogs yeah I've tried not swearing but you know there's words that I don't use I say shit and fuck a lot. So I yeah, I'd never be able to monetize my videos. But like I said, you know, I don't want to. But those that do and those that have got lots and lots and lots of subscribers and viewers earning vast amounts of money um, per month, you know, like seven pounds eighty from monetization. And all those that sell products, you know. Uh, Mr Crumble, you've never sold products. Not that I know of. And now you're selling beer coolers. Yes, you're selling one of these. Link in description. Yes, I know. That's just... Yes, it is the official link. Well, they did say it was going to be overcast. They did say it was going to be windy. I never mentioned all about bloody drizzle. Is it down for open? I don't know. Well, I think my anti-steamage insert isn't working. Because I'm having steamage. Ah, the wind's a little bit gusty up here. Now I took my bloody head off. Obviously at the flask I'm probably the only one that's going to be on a bike, all the rest will be in cars and vans. Whoa! Tad windy. And here we are at the flask. Ah, yuck. 
Right, I'll catch you all in a bit, folks. Bye for now. Well, hello again, people. Uh, bacon, black pudding, beans, and a mug of tea. And I bought a couple of uh, balls as well because she's actually moved to Scotland, not Wales. Yeah, she's actually moving up just outside Loch Lomond. Uh, she's getting a, a cafe place up there. So it's somewhere to go uh, when I'm doing NC500. New Scotland tour later this year. So that's good. But oh, yeah, that wind's built up. I don't like wind. I don't. I really don't like wind. Yeah, so bought a couple of balls because she's selling a lot of stuff that, that she can't take with her. Uh, still loads of stuff to sell, like. But nothing really useful for me. But I did need some new balls. That's soup balls, cereal balls, that type of ball. Well, thinking it was going to be windy and dry, I was going to wash bike this morning, but glad I didn't bother. Nasty wind, nasty wind, go away. Yeah, I'll get home, chill out for a bit. Do some stretches, try and ease his bloody pain off, then get to the gym and get my training programme sorted. Steamers. Uh, shall I go straight up through town or down sea from? I'll go through town. Bit of filterage. Well, it's a very damp and miserable day, but funnily enough, I'm enjoying this ride. Just tootling along. And as always, I knew I should have gone for a wee before I set off home. How many times do I do that? Forget to go to the toilet. Or I think, yeah, I'll be alright till I get home. Right folks, that's me done for the moment. Back out to the gym a bit later. So for now, ride safe, be strong, and I'll catch you later. Bye for now. Shut up and sit down.